step with Cam Thomas on him. Curry yanks it back, crosses him over, baseline pole. This your boy D knows ball back with another video. Hey man, I know Steph Curry had a stinker against Portland, but we're not gonna talk about what he did to Cam Thomas in the Knicks. We're not gonna talk about what he did to Cam Thomas in the Knicks. Yeah. Go to state is very tricky, bro. Go to state, they have an old guard sit in place with Steph, Dre, and Clay. Then you older Chris Paul. But they got some young guys, bro. I want to see a lot more from Pozemski. He played great against the Knicks. I want to see a lot more from Moody, a lot more from Kaminga. I even want to see Trace Jackson Davis get some minutes. I want to see Trace Jackson Davis get some minutes. I think he could be as good, if not better, than Looney eventually. But this game, man, it, it was about Steph. It was very stepperless. It was very stepperless. Like, just the shot making, the patience, and... Just, just the fact that he's just grown as just a one-on-one -on -one bucket getter, bro. Those mid-range pull-ups, like, just – he just hits daggers, bro. Steph Curry's got to the point where he hits daggers, man. Like, it is is timely bucket after timely bucket. When he – oh, he, he's shucking job Cam Thomas. He's shucking job Cam Thomas on that baseline. And then he hit Nick Claxton, a great defender, in the eye. Steph Curry is just a different scorer, bro. He's an all-time great scorer, man. And I think I think he's the greatest ever when it comes to dagger shots, bro. I think he's the greatest ever when it comes to dagger shots. Just the momentum buckets, the, the just the the soul crushing jumpers, man. It's just it's just so soul crushing when you get hit by jumper after jumper. Like dunking on dunking on somebody is one thing because you like you know he can jump. You know he's about six eight, but just the jumpers, the hit with the step backs, the just the pull ups, just whoo man. Steph Curry was vintage against the Nets. He was vintage against the Nets, and he just it, it, this game showed the difference between a Camp Thomas. A up rising, a rising star, a guy who has all the potential in the world to be a star versus a guy like Steph Curry who's proven and established. It's proven and established. Now let's get to Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas, say, man, he, I'm not going to say he takes bad shots, but he takes out of rhythm shots at times, I'm going to say. Like his instincts is just to go, 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 score, score, score. Sometimes, just because, just like I said with Curry, Curry will be patient. He'll he'll dance a little bit. If it's not there, he'll get off of it. Cam Thomas, once he get in his mind to shoot, he's going to shoot. The ball is not going back out. And I felt like throughout the game, he, he even fell on his face that one time. He had some bad turnovers. But all in all, I think Cam Thomas had a really good game. He was the only one playing in that first half. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. I think Mikael Bridges started out like three for 11, two for 10, something like that. And Mikael Bridges just – that when he blew that that layup at the end of the game, it's just a microcosm, bro. It might be time for just to build around Cam Thomas and Nick Claxton and look what you can get for some of those older vets because the timelines has shifted, bro. This is Cam Thomas' team. He's just a, just a more proven bucket getter. When Steph Curry came down and hit him in the eye, Cam Thomas came back and he – hit uh their shot in the corner and then Curry hit another shot but then Mikael Bridges took it coast to coast and blew a layup and then at the end of the game Mikael Bridges took it and he blew a layup so I feel like Mikael Bridges thinks it's his team Cam Thomas feel like it could possibly be his team and I think the Brooklyn Nets are gonna get to the point where they're gonna have to choose because they're not gonna be good enough to where the push and pull couldn't get them through um uh, but Cam Thomas is just – he's a certified bucket, bro. Once he begins to polish up some of the turnover things, some of the tunnel vision things, because uh, he, he even shows some passing instincts with that pass to Claxton. Uh, it just – I want to see Cam Thomas be more patient because he's a player that you can run him off screens. He's a player where he can catch and shoot. He doesn't have to only get his buckets one-on-one. -on -one. I thought he was strictly just a one-on-one -on -one bucket getter, but he can actually score within the flow of an offense. He he just has to develop that patience. I think that's the biggest thing with Cam Thomas right now, developing that patience. And I don't even know if the Nets really believe in him. If the Nets believe in him, 
they might shift over to give him giving him and Claxton the team and looking to trade Mikael Bridges and just really rebuild because you I don't see them going for Mikael Bridges as their number one because Mikael Bridges had uh times in the old, in the uh Phoenix Suns game where he was stinking it up. It's just big games. Mikael Bridges he's hit or miss. He's not a true number one option. I think Mikael Bridges is is a movement shooter slash defender. And I don't think Mikael Bridges is as great of a defender as he was with Phoenix. I think he's going to take a step back defensively. And even on Phoenix, I think he's a little bit overrated as a defender. Just me keeping the book. But I think Cam Thomas and Nick Claxton are the most promising players on the Brooklyn Nets. I still I, – I like – and the crazy thing is I like Cam Johnson. I like – Dorian Finney Smith. I like Sp- Spencer Dinwiddie's underrated. Spencer Dinwiddie is very underrated. People call him Din Shitty and all those funny jokes because the Cal Coos and stuff and whatever, whatever. But still, Spencer Dinwiddie can hoop. He missed a couple shots down the stretch that he can make. Now, I know I haven't seen him made before. And it just, it's just a timeline thing. You got to choose between Cam Thomas and Mikael Bridges, though. You have to. If you're the Nets, you have to choose between Cam Thomas and Mikael Bridges. And I because I think Cam Thomas, he should be due to get paid coming up soon. So they gotta have decisions to make. But all in all, this was a great game, man. Cam Thomas just he he was a certified bucket. He kept him afloat that first half. He was the, the best net on the court. They just keep it a buck. Outside of Claxton, because Claxton had some big blocks, some big rebounds, some big dunks that and one. But if I'm a Nets fan, I want to get the keys to Cam Thomas, bro. I want to get the keys to Cam Thomas and keep Claxton and just look what, what we could do in the future because Mikael Bridges is the number one. I, it just won't work. It just won't work. Uh, Steph Curry showed you what a real number one looks like, and Cam Thomas showed you he could potentially be a number one. But that back and forth from the fourth quarter, that's just, whew, that was some good basketball, man. And just the fact that Cam Thomas was fearless, he just kind of got railroaded by Mikael Bridges trying to be the man. Mikael Bridges took two layups that he missed when I think it should have just been Cam- – it was Cam's night. It was Cam's night. Mikael Bridges was having an off night. And I think that kind of – it kind of got in the way between the Curry-Cam Thomas show. Mikael Bridges got in the way. But I don't know, of course, the verdict is Steph Curry won the position battle. But I feel like it was a great game for Cam Thomas. He put up a hell of an effort against one of the greatest players of all time in Steph Curry. But this one goes to Steph. But shout out to Cam Thomas. But Steph Curry, bro. All time. That boy is just the he's it's crazy that we can all a hundred percent agree that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. Let me know how you feel in the comments about this position battle, Steph Curry versus Cam Thomas. What should the Nets do going to the future? Should they keep Mikael Bridges? Should they build around Cam Thomas and Nick Claxton? Let me know your thoughts. This is your boy, Diddy Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. This is your boy, Diddy Knows Ball. And today, i like to announce my new service, Channel Launch Pro. i like to help inspiring YouTubers and content creators launch their sports channels. If you like me and you want to get into content creation but you don't know how, just hit me up. I offer free consultations. Let's take off together. Oh. Found some shit I love to do, so I can't look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every Searching line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit.